So uh, my name is Peng Gao. Uh, I just finished my postdoc training at Stanford Medicine with Dr. Michael Snyder. And I recently started my own new lab um, at the University of Pittsburgh. I'm trained as an analytical chemist um, in both uh, environmental science and biomedical science. So my major research was focused on uh, utilize some uh, mass spectrometry and uh, sequencing approach uh, to determine what kind of uh, environmental contaminants and the microbes present uh, in our exposome cloud and uh, to study how they uh, impact human health chronically. So exposome, although it's not a really new um, term, it was raised about like decades ago, but um, it just became really hot in past 10 years, I guess. And the idea was um, to using the omics level approach to deep profile uh, what kind of exposure that we have in the daily life, including but not limited to different kind of environment contaminants like pesticides, pesticizers, some certain kind of carcinogens and flame retardant, and some of them are known as endocrine disruptors, which can impact our general system uh, chronically. Also, I think we are the only group in the world that was trying to integrate both uh, biological exposure and chemical exposure together by determining the microbes as well at the same time with the chemical stresses. So we use the next generation uh, sequencing metagenomics approach to determine what kind of microbe, uh, including bacteria, fungi, and certain type of virus that present in our exposures. So we, we can have uh, like an overview of uh, what kind of exposure we have in the uh, exposome count. So it means that uh, it's not just starting single group or single kind of uh, exposure. We are just trying to measure all the exposures as much as possible because they present as a mixture in the environment. So it's important to know their composition as well as their concentration. In our study, we were trying to correlate the internal Multiomics profiles such as the gut microbiome, metabolome, and proteome with the external exosome profile to see how correlated with each other and to see what kind of significant association can be found. Indeed, we found some really interesting association between the external exosome cloud and the internal multiomics profile. We are the first study that integrate the external exposures and the internal biomolecule profiles together to see how the exposome shape the uh, human phenotypes. And also by correlating the external exposure with the internal biomolecules, we were able to find thousands of significant associations. And then those are really valuable testable hypotheses for the future experiment validations.